Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So we started off the last couple of weeks with the A sharp minor chord and the C sharp minor chord. Today we're doing the D sharp minor chord. We already saw how to learn the D chord, the D sharp chord, the D minor chord, but not the D sharp minor chord. We're starting off by just playing the D minor chord, which is here. How to play the D minor chord? The link will be somewhere above here and the different positions on that so it's easier to follow with this one. I'm still going to show you guys exactly how to play the D sharp minor chord but just in case you want to understand where it's coming from then that would be handy. But starting off by this position we can actually just move that one fret up but we have a little flaw here. That doesn't sound right, does it? Now I'm gonna replace my fingers so it's correct. I'm gonna place my middle finger on the second fret of the first string. Then I'm gonna place my pinky finger on the fourth fret of the second string. My ring finger on the third fret of the third string. And then finally my index finger on the first fret of the fourth string. And then if we play the four lower strings we get the D sharp minor chord. All right, this is not really the most common way to play it, but I'm still giving this option to you. For the next one, it's a little bit easier. If we go to the second way to play the D minor chord, that was here. With my index finger over the five lower strings on the fifth fret. From this position, we can just move one fret up down the arm and then we get the D sharp minor chord. Like last week, we could move that up and to another position in this one. It's pretty high up the arm already, but we can still do it. And we can use the same method, which is moving up five frets, one, two, three, four, five. We place our fingers one up, and then remove our middle finger from it, and then we get the D sharp minor chord here. Which is pretty hard to play clean, at least on this guitar, because I'm not able to go that far. But that's it. That's basically it for the D sharp minor chord. Next week, again, we skip one chord and I'm gonna explain that in a future video. But next week, we're going to do the F sharp minor chord. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.